Hi guys! So today I am coloring in 100 Best Grayscale Coloring Pages by Elena Lazareva. Let me bring you down some. <laughs> but I messed up in the first video because <laughs> I was talking about something stupid that nobody cares about. But anyway, I was working on this and all I did was her skin. So everything else, we're gonna color right here, right now. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go ahead and start on her hair. I was thinking like a blonde, a blonde color. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, let me see. Do I have a color chart? Yes. <laughs> Do I have a color chart for that? I don't even know sometimes. Let's do dark or deep yellow. Okay. But I was talking about um, I work at a pet store. Um, it's not a chain store. So don't worry about that. We make sure that each and every animal is cared for and has its needs met every single day. So food, water, guinea pigs get vegetables every day because they cannot produce certain vitamins and minerals that they need. So, yeah, we give them those. And then, like, reptiles, they get their food. Some get vegetables, like the bearded dragons. And also um, a few others. But they get that every day. And then they get their cages cleaned, or their enclosures cleaned. They've got proper heating, proper lighting. And um, our business is only run by two people. My boss and um, his wife. So, you know, you got to make sure that everything is properly done. And I've been working there for probably four or five months so far. It's the best job that I've had. <clears throat> And, yeah, I actually like this job, and that's good. Let's see, I want to use, like, a red. I want to use cherry pink. I'm also going to use that around her neck. Let's see. I just put that marker in upside down. Maybe her eyes next. Oh, it's not bleeding through too bad. Yeah, let's do her eyes, but I kind of want to do the flower first. I'm going to do vivid pink. Well, like I said in the video before this one, um, I am getting two rabbits instead of a 
uh, leopard gecko just because I don't feel confident. Well, no, it's not because of that. <laughs> I want it, but I'd rather have something easier that I've taken care of before. I have had rabbits in the past and they are very easy to care for. Leopard geckos are not that easy. They are a little bit more difficult, but I wanna make her eyes blue. But, you know, like you gotta have proper weather. Well, not really. You gotta have proper heating in the tank that they are in. If you do not, it can. Why are these? Why are these frayed? Uh, why? That one's all right, I guess. But yeah, you have to have proper heating in the tank at all times. You know, and that's a little bit more than I can handle. <laughs> I'm a very simplistic person. I know I could have taken care of it properly, but I just, I really want rabbits again. Used to have rabbits. Well, used to have a rabbit. <clears throat> she passed and then I never had one again. Um, I used to have a bunch of cats. They passed. I don't have any right now. I want to make her dress also red. But, hmm. I want to make her shoes. Oh. I want to make her shoes the same color as the headband and the uh, necklace. So I'm going to get cherry pink back out. Okay, sorry about that. I had to concentrate very hard on that so that I didn't mess it up. Let's take Core A6 and do the heels. It's not the best, but it's fine. Okay. Then I kind of wanted to do like a pink for her dress. Let's use pale pink. Let's 
So let's go ahead and do the shoulder thingy. This is not on her shoulder. Okay. I also said in another video that my markers would be here January the 9th, which isn't this coming week, but in the next week. which I wish that they would come this next week, but, you know. They, st they still might, it just depends on if they ship soon. Okay, now this isn't gonna be perfect but it's going to be good. Gotta be very focused, because if I'm not, then I'm going to mess this up. And I don't want to mess it up. All right, before I go to the bottom part, I want to go ahead and do her nails. I'm gonna use fluorescent rose. go ahead and do the um, things on her shirt too. We'll do one chocolate, which is the name of this marker. Okay, got chocolate. Let's do a strawberry. We'll use Cosmos. vanilla and that can be cream or it looks more like caramel so caramel it is okay and then the cones can be salmon pink All right. Now let's do the cupcakes. I want. Hmm. 
that cream will probably be the cupcake as well. And then the wrappers will be a different color. We also need a red, so I'll use Vivid Red for the cherries. Okay. And let's use mint green light that I just threw in the floor. <laughs> let's use mint green light for the wrappers. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. All right, let's go ahead and finish the dress. It is looking pretty good so far. All right, go ahead and do the other ice cream on this one. Okay, and then the cream. And salmon pink for the cone. I think it was cream for the cupcake as well. And then vivid red for the cherry, mint green light for the wrapper. Okay, I'm going to start here at the bottom. I do really like how this is turning out. I like this book already. And then our next color in chat, I'll have to do World of Flowers by Johanna Basford. <clears throat> D 
do these cones. All right, cupcakes. All right, I kind of want to do cherry pink for the bands of the, the dress as well. All right. Go ahead and do the next one. Okay, what other coloring books do you think I should get for the year, guys? Because we need more. <laughs> we need more. Leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite coloring book is that you personally love. And maybe I'll check it out. I know there's, there's a lot of good ones out there. Joanna Basford, uh, Elena Lazareva, Selena Finnick, you know, like Ruth Sanderson, Belba Family, all kinds of good stuff. I want to get a Sashi and Sashdeva book because I think those books are gorgeous. I almost did too. I almost got the Animal Color by Number Mandala book. Almost did. I really want that book. I love Color by Number. 
need to save up some money. Put about 30 bucks on Amazon and get some more books. I really want that Fantasia book by Nicholas uh, F. Chandria. Oh my god. Something. C. Yes. Anyway, I really want that Fantasia coloring book. Okay, I don't need pastel pink anymore. That's not pastel, that was pale pink. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do all of the chocolate so I can put that up. Okay, got that finished. Let's do cream. Go ahead and do all of that. Okay. Is that all for the cream? Yeah. All right, put that up. Go ahead and do vivid red. Okay. Put that one up. Salmon pink. for our cone. Okay. That goes there. Uh, Cosmos for the strawberry. cupcake wrapper. All right, so she is finished. Let's do this strawberry. Let's use Let's use Carmine. Carmine for our strawberry. And it looks like a good decision too. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
then let's get some leaves. Let's use grass green, maybe. Mmm. Sure. Let's use grass green for these leaves. Let's go ahead and do this smoothie here. I was gonna make it red. Let's finish off this strawberry up here because it'll be the same color as the other one. I'm going to go ahead and color it in down here where this ice is and that will be shaded over with a gray. Uh, let's do these leaves. This is a fun little book to color in. Very pretty too. do like a red straw as well. And so is the orange, okay. Guess that looks okay. Let's take cream and kind of blend that down some. OK. 
because the pulpy bits would be a little bit lighter. Okay, that doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look that great. Let's try it now. Okay. That's alright. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> it doesn't look extremely terrible. Let's use Cool Gray 2 for the top part of this umbrella. Okay. I'm going to make the umbrella geranium colored. to get rid of that orange color off of that. It actually doesn't look too bad. If the orange pieces didn't look so dark, then it would look a whole lot better. Oh, let me see what I can do with that. Let me like put a little bit of cream in there and see if that'll lighten it up some. Just a little. See if we can lighten up those pieces just a little. It might work. It might not. It's okay. I wanted this to be red as well. So let's use coral red and make it like a little bit a brighter consistency. Yes. A brighter consistency. That's what I meant to say. That's stupid. Mm, don't get out of the lines, please. I'm gonna have to use my colorless blender to get some of that off of the page where it's bled over.
All right, I'm definitely gonna have to clean this up just a little. Okay, looks pretty good. Try to get rid of some of that. Okay, I'm going to use Cool Gray 2 over this. Over the glass like this. Is my gray running out? I don't know, it's not. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I guess I'll have to use Cool Gray 1. Okay. And I'll use it down here as well in the stem of the glass. Okay. Then, just go ahead and do that shadow underneath. Okay, that's Cool Gray 0.5. All right, we are done. That looks so cute. I like it so much. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, 
leave a comment letting me know your favorite coloring books and I'll have to check those out but yeah if you enjoyed the video or <laughs> uh, I forgot my own freaking outro um, anyway if you enjoyed the video leave a like <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one see you guys